welcome to my ktm video playlist today i am going to discuss about types of pulleys so let's see basically there are three types of the pulley first one here you can see fixed pulley this is the second one movable pulley and this is the third one compound so simply we can say there are three types of the pulleys fixed pulley movable pulley and compound pulley now let's see in detail about the three different types of pulley first fixed pulley so this is the simple diagram for the fixed pulley and this is the application of the fixed pulley a fixed pulley's wheel and axle stay in one place here you can see this is the fixed pulley's wheel and perpendicular to this wheel there is a axle so both the pulley as well as the axle of this pulley stay in one place that means it is not movable that's why it is called as fixed pulley a fixed pulley is mounted on an axle here you can see this is the fixed pulley which is mounted on this axle that is perpendicular to this plane of pulley that has bearing at its center here also you can see the wheel of the pulley is fixed on this axle in such a way that it rotates on its center point so here you can see this pulley can rotate about this fixed axle the rope is now surrounded by this wheel so that it can move circumferentially in this figure also you can see the rope can move circumferentially on this pulley a good example of a fixed pulley is a flag pole in this figure you can see so this is actually the application of this fixed pulley when you pull down on the rope the direction of the force is redirected by the pulley and you raise the flag so very simple when you pull down from this end in this figure also you can see when you apply the force on the one end of this rope then the direction of the force is redirected by the pulley so here you can see the force is applied on this downward direction and this direction of the force is redirected by this pulley on the other end that means on this end the force is directed on the upward direction so if you consider the same phenomenon over here then if you apply the force on this rope in the downward direction on this side then you can raise the flag so the direction of the force is redirected by this fixed pulley so this is the main application of the fixed pulley now the second one movable pulley here you can see this is the simple figure of the movable pulley and this is the practical application of the movable pulley so that you can understand the importance or you can say the significance of this movable pulley now let's see the very brief introduction of the movable pulley in a movable pulley the block is mounted here you can see this is the block is mounted on a movable axle here you can see this is the movable axle which moves along with the weight to be lifted so here you can see this is a weight so this movable axle will move with the weight to be lifted in this figure also you can see this is the load or you can say the weight to be lifted and this is the movable wheel these pulleys are often attached to the object here you can see and multiply the operator force which the operator applies to the machine so here this is the application of the force or you can say simply the direction of the force 
So in short, you can say this is the input to this movable pulley. The movable pulley does not change the direction of the object as we have discussed in the previous case. That means in the case of the fixed pulley, the direction of the force is redirected. But in the case of the movable pulley, it does not change the direction of the object. So here you can see, if you apply the input force in the upper direction, then it move in the upper direction. That means the load will be move in the upper direction. So this is the main important feature of the movable pulley. It is useful to pull up heavier loads as the operator has to exert less force. This is actually the application or we can say the feature of the movable pulley. It is useful to pull up heavier loads as the operator has to exert the less force. So here you have to apply the less force and you can lift the heavy load with the help of the movable pulley. Examples of the movable pulley, elevators, construction cranes. So in case of the fixed pulley, the application is the flag pole. Here in case of movable pulleys, these are the applications. Now let's see the last one, compound pulley. Here you can see this is the simple figure of the compound pulley. In this figure you can see as we have discussed earlier this is the simple figure of the fixed pulley and this is the simple figure of the movable pulley. If you see carefully this both figure and compare it with the compound pulley. So you can observe it compound pulley is a combination of the fixed pulley as well as the movable pulley. That's why it is called as the compound pulley. That means it is a combination of fixed pulley as well as movable pulley. So in this diagram also you can see this is a fixed pulley and this one is the movable pulley. So both will be combined together known as the compound pulley. By doing this we can take the advantages of the fixed pulley as well as movable pulley. Now let's see briefly in a compound pulley there is both a movable pulley as well as a fixed pulley. In this figure also you can see this one is the fixed pulley and this one is the movable pulley. This means that not only does the load feel lighter but you can also change the direction of the force. As we have discussed in case of the fixed pulley the benefit is to change the direction of the force. In case of the movable pulley you can lift the heavier load with respect to the input force. But in case of the compound pulley, you can take both the advantages. And that's why here it is written. It is generally used, not only does the load feel lighter, but you can also change the direction of the force. Although this type of the configuration makes it possible to move heavy loads very easily but considerably more motion is required to do the work. So here it is written the load feel lighter and that is exactly written over here but contradictory more motion is required to do the work. Examples of the compound pulley, gym equipments such as chest exercise. So this is the best example to understand the compound pulley. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.